Hello, this is not a spring chicken today. President Obama held his, his first press conference since he's been elected president by the national press, and there was one thing missing, this presidential seal. Yes, the presidential seal for the Obama nation. Yeah, Obama nation. Well, they call it the great seal of Obama. Oh, is that what they call it? Ah. But for now, we'll bring old Cam on for comments on the headlines of today. President Obama holds first press conference since becoming president. I know, and he fielded all the questions from the mainstream Republican press corps, including one from Fox that said, uh, you know, that had to do with the fact that how do you feel about losing 20 percent of the women's vote and, uh, you know, and white male vote to Mr. McCain and Mr. And Mr. Obama's response was, well, the... Uh, the polling between now and the election day are going to go up and down, but these people will all come back to me. Rival groups sign agreement to end sectarian violence in Tripoli. Yeah, that, you know, <laughs> that, that, they, they sign agreements every other day in the Arab world about sectarian violence. Gulf Coast prepares for another storm. Yeah, I mean, right after Ike, Ike sort of fizzled, but the next one is supposed to be bigger. More news anchors removed from election night coverage. Yeah, it's basically that's a sign of panic by the, um, the people that run the uh, network news because they are afraid to offend McCain if McCain is going to get elected. Battles for control of Congress heat up after conventions. Oh, well, yeah, because the, the now the Democrats are afraid they might not gain all the seats they thought they were going to gain because Mr. Obama is now, a, a, he's now an anchor on them. Study new cervical cancer test is more accurate than a pap smear. Well, yeah, but it's probably more invasive and more expensive. In tough economic times, couples fight more about money. I can well, tell you this, folks. But I, <laughs> I, I come from a German and a German American family, and we did nothing but fight about money. When we had it, we fought. When we didn't have it, we fought. Isn't that one of the main reasons for couples to fight anyway? It's uh, always the main reason. For, okay, but put it this way: Didn't somebody get grumped out about buying too much bread? <laughs> WMD report: U.S. remains dangerously vulnerable. We always will, because okay. You, you can look to our left and see nobody out there protecting the coastline. So he could come in at night with an army and nobody would notice. Obama puts heat on Palin as she boosts GOP ticket. Yeah, she, you know, he, at the, t at the same time he's telling people to lay off the family, he has investigators out trying to dig up things like, uh, you know, like she spends too much public money on transportation. Of course, she lives 600 miles from Juneau. <laughs> the capital, so, and they're expected to pay her expenses back and forth because she's the governor of the state. Well, <laughs> yeah, it kind of goes with the the office, right? Storm fatigued Gulf Coast facing another hurricane. Yeah, basically, what has happened is it, it, it's a Katrina result. Everybody is afraid not to do something, so now they're, you know, every time something comes up, like I said the other day, you know, if Monty was there lifting a leg, they would be a national evacuation caused in the area. KFC shoring up security for secret recipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got something that we, we got a little piece of video for all you folks from the Western Food Fair that talk about that situation. <laughs> The original recipe, the original, right? This is not the original recipe that they're protecting, folks. New York lawsuit claims Disturbia copied short story. Well, other than the fact it was Alfred Hitchcock's rear window, there's not, there are no semblance. Lawmakers suppress officials on Russian strategy. Yeah, <laughs> what strategy? They know Obama's not going to do anything. They know the Democrats aren't going to do anything. And Bush is a lame duck, so what's, there's no strategy. <laughs> Bush to pull out 8,000 troops from Iraq by February. No, that's already a, a lost cause because they're going to pull more out. That's they just, are? You know, basically, that was a stupid thing for Bush to say, but Bush is not known for his, his, okay, Mr. Bush on script is worse than Mr. Obama off script. <laughs> Congress weighs the fate of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Okay, the Democrats are saying that this is nothing but a bailout for the fat cats. At the same time, they're saying if we don't bail out them, the people that is their constituents are going to lose their homes. So it's an oxymoron. <laughs> they have to condemn, but if they condemn too, all Bush has to do to sink the great ship Democratic Party is to say, okay, let them fall. 
Hillary Clinton supporters say press should back off Palin. That's the 20 percent that Mr. Obama originally said he was going to lose but didn't need to win that he's now concerned about not having. So why do you think Hillary's saying to back off? Because, the, okay, the Democratic Party is big on women's rights and saying that a woman has no right to be a public official. Remember, Hillary's got a daughter, folks. That's right. And Hillary and Chelsea. And Pelosi has. has right, and <laughs> Chelsea is planning to run for public office and have children because they have to have a dynasty. And therefore, if the Clintons, if, if you go after Palin, you go after Pelosi, you go after Clinton, you go after, you know, uh, all of these women politicians that are Democrats. Oh, Condoleezza Rice? Condoleezza Rice, Republican. She didn't have children, no. Simpsons Vegas trial opens without past fanfare. Because nobody cares out of the Fox network. I mean, I heard, here's a good one on Fox this morning. Do you think that the, uh, that the prosecution knows this, or should we go tell them what we've been told? You know, so much for objective journalism, folks. Well, actually, if they remove it off the air, then... <laughs> No one cares about the OJ trial. They know that, that, you know, Hillary needs one person to keep from being convicted, and there are black people on a jury. Obama accuses Republican rivals of dishonesty. Yeah, because how, okay. Mark Twain, the truth is the last thing anybody wants to hear. California Union to seek Schwarzenegger recall. Oh, yeah, 38,000 people are, are demanding Schwarzenegger be recalled because the, the, the Senate and the House will not come to a budget which is in violation of state constitution. So he just simply cut everybody's salary to minimum wage. And they're, you know, and they, they, they you know, they, every, every union says, well, you shouldn't cut us because we're more important than the other union. <laughs> yeah, so they, they said it has, a, it has the same chance of uh, Ice Cube in hell. Is that that singer? He's not going to go there because we've met the guy. And he's actually a real He's actor. a great guy. Australian surfer says he was towed by a shark. Yeah, that you know, you expect to see that on the new version of Ripley's Believe It or Not. Things to watch as the fall race kicks off. Yeah, you know, the, the, the polls. I mean, uh, the, the, okay, the Democrats are accusing all the pollsters now of being in the back pockets of the Republicans. So those are important things to watch because they, they will tell you that the polls are now irrelevant. The polls are now irrelevant? That's right. And you've got to watch the amount of money being dumped in and the nastiness that's coming up. <laughs> Oasis singer no Noel Gallagher attacked on stage. That's ridiculous. I mean, somebody. I mean, okay. You don't attack people. That's what Rotten Tomatoes are for. <laughs> okay. I, I, I've been present when a performance was so bad in England. England will throw Rotten Tomatoes at you. Apple Stephen Jobs. He's not dead yet. Okay. That that somebody. All the newspapers in the country have obituaries written for famous people in the event that they die, some idiot put the stupid thing out on the wire services. What? And, okay, young, inexperienced people, sit, they, they see something and then they just go with it. That's why they call them fired. Ah, uh, but we do have more to talk about with Apple's announcement. Yeah, on a little the new bit. iPod. That's right. Obama embraces charter schools and education plan. Well, yeah, because it benefits the black community. It's near the campaign's end. Send in the lawyers. Oh, yeah. I mean, okay. Obama's lawyers are everywhere trying to dig up. I mean, they're, they're, out of it. they're trying to dig up dirt on John McCain. This guy is got such, okay, we're talking, he used to go through women, you know, like Errol Flynn. And well, he was married when he was doing it. I mean, you know, and it's like everybody knows it, so they don't bring it up. A, it's kind a, of like Biden. You don't see. Play, you know, he was the playboy of the Western world. So it's like Biden. You don't see all that stuff out about a Biden because it's like both him and McCain have been in Congress for so long. They already know. That everybody knows everything, but they're looking. I mean, uh, rural Virginia town goes high tech, draws Obama. Oh, I know. You can only go high tech so much. I mean, God. I mean, so they get Wi-Fi to everybody. Obama kill terrorists but give prisoners rights. <laughs> they love that one. That's the, and that was you know from the National Press quote. For, they they thought that was asinine to say that on the on the O'Reilly <laughs> show. You know you know the you know, you know if you okay if you don't kill the guy then give him civil rights. <laughs> um, a Monty Bobbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. People get tired of hearing the same speech over and over again with just new names added to it. 